Good morning guys, it is future Sarah talking, but this is the vlog of August 17th and 18th and the stuff that I did in China. It was my first weekend and so I got to hang out with my nephew and some of my other relatives that I wouldn't get to hang out with during the work week. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. It's kind of inconvenient to vlog with audio, so I mainly recorded clips and I muted them and I'll be doing voiceovers throughout the vlog. The first thing that we did was go to a mall and my little nephew got his eyes caught on these little critters. The mall had B First, which is Yi Gong Yuan, which we played at for three hours that day because those were our tickets. It was like an indoor fun amusement park a lot of like challenge activities and stuff like that. There was trampolines and very interactive. I thought it was a lot of fun. We played for many minutes at this rolling ball thing. My arms were sore the very next day. I thought this was a very good picture. Um, I'd definitely go back. We ended up going twice. We made snowman. We were swimming in the sand and he tried burying me. It was a lot of fun. I'd never seen anything like this in America before, so this was like a new experience for me as well. There was also a video game corner, and my little nephew's obsessed with Minecraft and Mario Kart and that kind of thing. He was too afraid to go on any of these height activities, so I just took pictures of them and admired them from afar. But he was zoned in on these people playing video games. We rode bikes for a little bit. Um, they had like a little figurine that was going around in circles. He played laser tag and I watched him because it wasn't really my jam. I saw these people roller skating and I thought it was cute that they had little avocados on their bums so that they didn't hurt when they fall. This was scarily exciting for me to watch. I thought it was very cool that they were able to go around in circles. No, it's not something I would ever try, but this was when we were done. My sister took a picture of us dumping out all the sand in our shoe this was the mall that that little amusement park B first was part of it was like six stories tall it was like ginormous we went out for lunch afterwards and this was me showing him despicable me for on my phone this was the lunch place we ate they had um, many refills um, in the mall we got caught at this like drone flying school place and my nephew wanted to try it out so they let him try it out and he was very excited as you can tell from this picture in beijing it's really hard to drive around and there's a lot of traffic so this is my sister holding onto the car for dear life we went to a festival a food festival um it was like a once in a lifetime opportunity and it was inside this very cool place but there were so many people as you can see from this photo and there weren't any tickets, it was just lines for each of the little booths. So we ended up just leaving because we weren't about to wait like hours in line for each of the booths. And it was really big, like a really big food festival. So instead we went to like this little tiny street and we got food at a little diner. Each of like the little places are family owned. And so this was me and him. We were playing Brain Out during that time. He got really hooked on that game. This was um, Gulo which is a monument that this is him um, this was the place where we watched this shadow show um, it was like shadow puppets that they were performing with it's a very traditional older and older um, form of Chinese art this is me and my sister and this is the show it was behind this like screen and they had words in the background that they were telling a story with There was also this really cool light show that was happening that was during like an intermission. 
Apparently there was supposed to be more of a shadow show after, but we all thought it was a little bit boring and like nothing in comparison to the 21st century like technology that we have. So we just decided to leave. The thing was supposed to be until nine and we left around seven o'clock because we were a little tired. This was us driving back. Breakfast. And this was breakfast the next day. My favorite part of China is probably like all the snacks and food. And so we went to go buy chicken at a store, but it was also this really big snack store. So I looked around and there were a lot of different snacks and food that I loved eating when I was little. And it was cool to see familiar things that you can't necessarily get everywhere in America. They have these little drinks too. Um, oh, these were my childhood. These were so good, the different flavors. And then they also have like the American candies and the hard candies too. This was my childhood. And these are also really fun. These are the places where they put mail and you go there with the eight digit code and to pick stuff up. And so I just picked up package and I don't know what it is, it's very clunky. And I'm gonna bring it back to my grandma. Something my aunt ordered that just showed up here, so it'll be a nice surprise. Bubble wrap! My dad had a couple errands that he needed to run, like going to this photocopy shop to print a copy of his ID. We then walked to the bank because he needed to get a new credit card because his thing was expired. We went to the um, bank because my dad needed to do some stuff. Then we went to a nearby grocery store, Tin Cologne, and we didn't buy anything, we just looked around, reminisced for the memories that I had previously there. I thought this bike was cool, cool color. Um, then we went to Ume, which is a bigger mall, but the basement is a grocery store and we needed to get my grandma oil. We're, ba we're back buying oils and being harassed by the same lady, trying to make business, but what the frick is this robot doing? It like moves. Oh my god. There was a lot of shen jia pian, different like goods. People are obsessed with this stuff here. Hawthorn, I think is what they're called in English. But there's like, shelves and shelves. This is the big plaza that the movie theater was part of. We went to this movie theater to watch a BBC documentary on wildlife. This was my little nephew picking out a goodie bag for me that it came with the movie. This was a selfie that we took during the movie, I think. This was what the movie theater looked like. I'm not in this photo, but everyone was very focused. They had different activities for the kids as well. This was my nephew crying because I left and he didn't want me to leave that night. Dinner. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. This is me after a long day of fun bugging my dad and forcing him to slide over in the bed. <laughs>